Everyone here is wearing their red noses. And get this, this year, each red nose comes with a chocolate surprise like this one. And it, look at that, it kind of glows in the dark. Ooh. Look, that, oh, look, who's that there? Gromit. Oh, it's upside down, silly me. There we go, there's Gromit. Anyway, they're very impressive. So we <laughs> sent our Zoe on a sweet tooth mission to find out more. You can eat that if you Thank want. Thank you. I, I... <laughs> This factory produces one of the largest ranges of products in the UK and gets through a staggering 30 tonnes of chocolate a day. Over 500 tonnes my body weight. The chocolate pictures are made on a nut-free production line, one of the only ones in the country. So we had to be extra sure that everything was clean. Even the camera was checked. Now, I know that chocolate comes from cocoa beans, but where are the cocoa beans? We don't actually make the chocolate. It comes in liquid form and is stored in these tanks. So to get the chocolate out, you just turn on some tap and then it all comes out? It's exactly like that. I wouldn't mind one of those in my house. Now, can we make the chocolate pictures now? We certainly can, but we need to go over here to do that. Special software converted my photo into 256 shades of grey. Each one represents a different thickness of chocolate. This was then turned into a mould. Oh, wow! This is the mould! That is fantastic. I'm used to seeing it the other way around, but I'm sure once it comes out, it'll be the normal way that I'm used to. How much do I put on? 85 grams. Oh, right, so I've got to keep an eye on this then, do yeah. I? OK. Gosh, this is going to take ages. No, I take it this isn't the way it's actually done, is it? For the Comic Relief chocolates, was it done by a machine? Yes, the Comic Relief ones were done on this machine here that makes 50,000 pieces every hour. No, every hour that you're going to say every week. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, I'll not be moving half as quickly as that. Where does this chocolate actually come from? This chocolate is known as fair trade chocolate, which means the farmer who grew the beans to make the chocolate actually gets more money for his product. Two years ago, Blue Peter presenter Liz Barker visited Ghana to find out more about fair trade. She asked Mary, one of the cocoa growers, how it all works. Because we are paid a fair price for our cocoa, we can afford to pay the hospital fees when we are sick and to pay our children's school fees. The co-op gets enough money from selling its fair trade cocoa to provide not only the school education but also water wells in the village. OK, we're at 60, another 25 grams to go. Can you use any kind of chocolate? Why are we using white? We use white chocolate because it's see-through and it's just like holding a white piece of paper up against the light versus a black piece of paper. You need it to see through to be able to see your image through the chocolate. And... 85! So what next? Now we have to put it on the vibration table to make it look good. It's not, oh, it's vibrating! It, it actually didn't look as if it was, but I literally just set yes, it on. place it down on them. <laughs> it's like putting it on top of my tumble dryer. Oh my goodness. That looks as if it's finished, all the air bubbles have been removed now. So we now need to take it down to the cooling tunnel. So how long does it take? Uh, in that tunnel, 25 minutes. But in the meantime, could I maybe have a look around, eat some chocolate? But as it's Easter, we've now started producing a lot of eggs, so you can have a go at one of the more skilled jobs, which is decorating eggs, if you'd like to do that. I would love to try that. The factory makes about 15 million Easter eggs each year, so the chances are you'll have one of them on Easter morning. Show me the egg then, Dave. Here's the egg. Oh my goodness. Oh, I can't make any mistakes. To be honest, my stomach's going a bit funny because I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it. Okay. <gasps> I'm going to start again in that. Hey! It was time to see if my chocolate picture had set hard. Well, there it is in all its glory, hardened and cold. So uh, let's get it out of the mould. Wow, there it is. Box it up. Now, I must say, it looks great, but I can't exactly see the photographic image. It looks far better in the daylight. If you pop outside, hold it up to the light, you'll see the difference. Well, Dave, that's exactly what I shall do. Thank you very much indeed. This is it. I can't
can't wait to see what I look like in chocolate. Right, let's hold it up to the light. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Yummy. Can't wait to eat myself. And there is. How impressive yeah. is that? It's like a photo and a chocolate all in one. That looks amazing. I should that be on an advert delicious. with talk amazing. like that. It's so impressive. Yes, it is. Uh, and it tastes good too. <laughs> <laughs> She's eating Zoe. There we yeah. are. Now, there's a new face on uh, CBBC.